What is up guys? Wraith here, Great Bearded Gaming Society. We are back on our little wizard Ezidin. We are uh Well, we threw up the looking for group flag, so we've just been on in this session here for literally just a, a couple of minutes. But we did like so we've already done one who will run another there's a whopping total of five people in the zone. So I think what we're going to try to do here is uh Sneak our way. Oh, no, we're not really have to sneak. We're just going to run down here to the shore, and we're going to run over here to Oasis. And I mean, honestly, I I feel like we're a little too small for Oasis right now. Um, but it's just can we can we get some group action going to uh, you know kind of get some things moving? It's slightly faster than what we're just able to do, you know, solo. I I would have hated to have had to come all the way out here for nothing. <laughs> I mean, you know, we came all the way across the world. Hoping to find, uh, you know, some, some humans to, to group with and play with. So we'll see how it goes. So let's, uh, let me speed up the run here so you guys don't have to deal with that. And we'll be right back once we get in zone and scout things out a bit. Okay, okay. Here we are. Back in the Oasis of Mar. I'm curious. Like I said, the Caymans. Blue Desert Man is already green. So we, we should be able to get into a little bit of trouble here ourselves. We'll, uh, we'll give a, obviously we'll stick to like some Caymans, some of the smaller stuff. Uh, we do not want to let them hit us. So we played here with Stink. We did a little bit here with, with our Paladin. who are much beefier. We do not want to get hit. Because <laughs> we will crumple like a little tin can. We'll also have to definitely keep our eyes out for anything and everything undead that will aggro us around here. So let's see. Who do we got in zone? Oh, wow. Man, there's only five people. I uh, really expected to be able to get a group here, of all places. It looks like the Cayman might keep us busy for a while, though, because we got... Alright, so we're going to start off with the blue one. And see how we do. We will stick you to the ground. As long as we don't get resist, we should be fine with our our great big blast. But let's see, this guy's probably gonna gonna hurt us pretty bad. But as long as we keep him running, we should be in pretty good shape. Let's see, can we use a little less mana. Give a fireball, maybe. There we go. Okay. So we can handle some of the smaller stuff. Like I said I'm I'm super really disappointed. That there's just nobody here. And I, and I know, like, so we've talked to, you know, just in the chat. And then, you know, in the, some of the comments. Like, you know, Velius is out. I know a lot of people aren't, uh, you know, they're mainlining, so to speak. You know, everybody's getting their Vela stuff in. They're getting their Sky Shrine armor. They're getting their third in armor. All that kind of happy stuff. I really expected to have more, you know, people like me who play the, the newbies eternally. Or at least people who, you know, it's not a not a raid night. Because it doesn't seem like it would be a very good raid night. It's not a weekend night this time around. But... So, uh, we'll just kind of have to see how it goes, guys. I think we're going to have to, uh, I think we're going to have to do some blasting in here and see how we do. And, uh, you know, we'll keep the LFG flag up. So we'll keep tabs on, uh, how many people are around and see if we can't get, you know, something going on. But we'll just have to, uh, we'll have to see how it goes, guys. We'll have to see how it goes.
Well, you know, that'll wake you up. <laughs> so we've been sitting here on the dock. Unfortunately, we, um, there's next to nobody in zone again tonight, which is not going to help our cause. We got Kazel running around. And maybe some of these, I mean, maybe somebody could take him. I don't know. I'm not sure if anybody's going to care enough to do it. Now, like I said, the problem we're running into is there's just nobody around to, to group with. So I think at this point, we're, uh, we're going to have to commit ourselves to, to, you know, a pretty good solo spot. And this spot's not horrible. It's not bad at all. I mean, I was, I was hoping to be closer to this side of the world to be able to get some buffs and some things like that. But we really just haven't seen, you know, hardly anyone here. I mean, most of the time so far, it's me and this guy who's playing dead on the dock. So, you know, go erudites, I guess. But it's going to be tricky. It is going to be tricky. Because one of the things that I was, I was kind of hoping to do, of course, was to be able to to group up with some of the new spells just to see how they do in a group setting. Because, again, I'm a horrible wizard. I've not been doing this for very long. It's like, how often can I nuke? You know, without drawing aggro. I know before, you know, just kind of when you're small, you just kind of spam. Just kill everything. Get it out of the way. You know, move on to the next uh, the next bad guy. But at some point, I was hoping to actually learn how to maybe play one of these guys in a group without pulling aggro nonstop and being that wizard, you know, that nobody wants to group with. So in the interim, however, they said we're going to, have to be super careful. We might actually need to move down some since we know Castle's right here and he'll just keep roaming back to that spot. So it might actually be prudent to, to move down here. We've tried not to get too far into the zone in case anything goes sideways. We have uh, some space to escape. But generally this spot right in here seems to be pretty safe. Nice wide open. You can see everything coming. And then if we need to, we can run forward to... The gypsies and sell which actually does remind me i i had uh, really not pointed it out one of the things i did actually do is i went ahead and sold the crack staff we were carrying as a weapon because it was kind of heavy and when we were in a spot we were actually getting you know some decent loot like from the bandits and stuff we were going over our encumbrance so fast uh that i decided to let's thin it back down so at least now you know we're still carrying our entire stash of money which maybe we should have put some of that in the bank and then we have our spells which don't weigh much Plenty of food and bandages, and the rest is just, you know, ready to stock stuff. Oh, that's not good. Let's not. No, oh, crap. That is not what we needed. So I don't think I can take this guy. Oh, yeah, he's red. Bobbing and weaving. Weaving and bobbing. Let's do this. Yeah, cause, I mean, he's, yeah, he's 20, 12, 20, 30. Oh, he caught us. That's not cool. Nope, 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 nope. Gotta stay with the bobbing and weaving. Get just enough ahead of him where he can't hit us again. Oh. Yeah, I was trying to... Uh... Oh, no, we're gonna run right into Castle, too. This is... Okay, let's see what happens. Is he gonna aggro us from way down here? Well, uh, we'll see. Get up to here, cut along the edge. Listen for stompy feet. We just have no choice but to try to run by him. But he did not aggro. So as long as we can get away from this guy. Okie dokie. So again, not exactly what we were looking for in <laughs> that particular instance. Uh, yeah, the undead, of course, are always going to be a problem. And at least it was a, a mummy, not like a ghoul, who could have rooted this or something. So, okie dokie. So we're going to have to reset here. As I was just saying how safe that new spot was supposed to be. Awesome. All right. All right. Well, like I said, let's see. You know, we're in this zone. Who's here? At least there's a couple people here. But I think there's actually more people here than there are in the zone next door. But still, we're not talking about really, you know, people we could really get a group with. I mean... Monk and Rogue and Wizard, you could struggle to, to try to get something done, but you're not going to get much done with that, unfortunately. It's just, uh, like I said, I think we might just have to, to settle in with the fact that we're going to be soloing for, for a, long, a while longer. We're going to keep LFG up. We're going to see if anything uh, comes our way. But uh, in the interim, we're going to keep keep plinking away. The sad thing is, like I said, I came over here to get, hopefully, around people and get buffs. And part of me is like, maybe we should have stayed at the Bandits because at least they were worth more money. 
<laughs> so we'll uh, we shall see what happens. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to try to give this one another good round. I'd really like to get some groupage in. It's just been a super slow week. Like I said, this has been several days now of just trying to get anything going at a time when I would consider to be, you know, I mean, not even not necessarily truly peak peak time, but decently close. I mean, it's it's nine o'clock and some change Eastern time, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's like quarter after nine Eastern, but I guess everybody's busy playing their big kids and bellies. So we'll see how it goes, guys. We're going to check back in one more time. Hopefully we get something going a little better. And uh, then we have some some decisions to make. Do we find? Do we stay here and try to solo? Do we go back if we were and try to solo? You know, we'll uh, we'll see. But we'll check back in. Stick around. Well, that sucked. Probably jumped the gun a little bit. Thought we had enough mana to handle the stupid bug. And then he resisted the killing blow. If I scroll all the way up. Where was he at? That, that, yeah, lots of stuff. Total resist. And of course, he starts regening as we start running for the hills. But anyway, to make it worse, we're running away and we're actually making... We're probably going to make it. And then here he is. The zombie or ghoul or whatever it was in front of us, Crypt Mummy, like, all right, we get near that, he's going to aggro them. There's a giant, so I'm trying to, like, all right, let's go try to go around, I guess. And he just caught us, and that was it, and stun and whatever. But, okie dokie, we're, um, we are going to call this adventure there for the evening. Probably, honestly, probably for the, for the week. Um, like I said, it's, it's, has not been... Uh, an amazing week for us, unfortunately, in terms of what we've been able to get done. We were knocking on the door to get in our level. And, yeah, I mean, we're still now we're about half a bubble back. So I'll have to get that, uh, get that figured out again. But, um, you know, like I said, we've been, we've been just trying all week long to get, to get a group. And it's really just not been going well for us at all. So, um, so I think we're going to, we're going to collect the corpse here. We're going to reset and then make a decision, you know, about uh, what's going to be the best place for us to go to hunt solo. And uh, and see where it goes there. We'd love to hear from you guys down below. What do you guys think? Should we just go back to Bandit? Should we stick around over here? Should we wait it out and see if some people show back up? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Because again, we do love to hear from you guys. But as always, guys, stay safe. Stay distant. Stay on EverQuest. And we'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully, do group with somewhere. Hint, hint, nod, nod, wink, wink. Night, guys.